Hey there, April of Yes to Next here with my mom. I go, hi. Let me dispel a myth. You can't target belly fat by doing specific ab exercises. Your body gains and loses weight where it wants to. So to decrease pounds at your waistline and overall, you need to decrease calories and burn calories through a healthy diet and exercise program. But I will tell you this, by doing exercises like the ones we do today, you'll strengthen your core and define your muscles so that when you do shed those pounds, you'll see them underneath. So what is your core? Your core includes your abdominals here in the front, your obliques on the side, your back muscles, including those that go up and down your spine, and also muscles in your hip area, including your glutes. So these muscles are important for just everyday life. You know, reaching for that glass on the shelf, you know, tying your shoes, or getting up from a chair or a toilet. So making sure that these muscles are strong is really important. So what do you need today? You need a weight, a water bottle, can, or dumbbell will do. And please make sure to warm up before doing these exercises. You can check out the Yes to Next warm-up video or do five or ten minutes of activity on your own. Walking, dancing, whatever you like. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first exercise is called the wood chop, just like chopping wood. All right, so feet shoulder width apart, weight down in front of you. Okay, and we're gonna weight shift to the right. Bring that weight back, weight shift to the left, and bring it up. Okay, so just like this, and up. Okay, so let's go for 10. Make sure you breathe. That's one. That's two. Keep that core tight. You breathe. Breathe. Four. Do that twist. Five. Five more. Six. And breathe. Seven. Nine, how you doing? Good. <laughs> and 10. All right. All right, good work. You made it. Okay, now that means you gotta do the other side, okay? So again, watch your feet. As far as slight bend in the knees, engage the core. Weight down to the left. And then up. Shift left and back. Shift right and up. Okay. And I'm gonna go for eight more. Breathe. Seven. Six. Good. Five. And we shift left. Four. Right. Three. Good. Two. And one more. And down. And rest. Good work. Can you get in there? Hang in there. Okay, good job. The second exercise is called the good morning because it mimics getting up in the morning. All right, so watch your feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, and engage that core. Okay, and if you can, put your fingertips behind your ears. If you can't do that, cross your chest and spine. Okay, so what you want to do is engage that core, hinge at the hips, and push those hips back. Go down and forward. And up from the side, it looks like this. And up, your head, neck, and spine are in alignment. Okay, you don't have to go down far. And if you have pain in your back, please stop. Okay, here we go. Let's do 10. That's one. Two. Three. And breathe. Engaging your whole posterior chain here, your back, your glutes, and your hamstrings, and also work in those abs, okay? Let's call it at five here, okay? Five, <laughs> four, three, good, breathe, two, and one, and down, and rest. Very nice. Very nice. How are you feeling? Okay. Good. Very good. good. Exercise three is the twist. So your feet should be shoulder width apart, slight bend knees engage them. Hold that weight on your hands out in front of your chest. What are you Breathe. 
nice work. Exercise four are side punches. Okay, so feet hip distance apart, engage that core, get those hands up. Okay, pick your fists up. Okay, so just gonna punch the side. Feel that twist in your waist? You feel it, huh? Yep. Okay. Boom. Arms straight out to the side, okay? Woo! And breathe. Let's do 10 more. 10. Nine. Breathe. Eight. Three. Seven. And the torso twist. Six. obliques here. Your head should be straight up, your core engaged, and we're just going down to the right. Okay, do eight more. Eight, and breathe. Seven. Okay, so don't cave in, not like that. Straight down, side. Four. Three. Breathe. Left side now. Bend one, two, three. Breathe. Four. Feel those obliques for me. Five, six, seven. How you doing? Eight. completing these five standing exercises, you're on your way to a stronger core. Thanks for joining us, and if you like this video, please like us below and subscribe to our channel. We look forward to seeing you in a future video, and in the meantime, keep moving. See you soon.